Hi folks, this is Rick Beatty from Digitech here today to talk to you about the Jam Manager software. We're going to be looking at some of the features of the Jam Manager and we're going to go ahead and start by looking at uh, syncing to the library. What we're going to be doing is getting loops we've created out of the Jam Man uh, solo, uh, which you can also do with the stereo or the Jam Man delay. And once you have the Jam Man plugged in, uh, basically we can either go to the internal or external uh, SD card if you have one plugged in. And we're going to take one of these loops here and we're going to sync it into the library. So right now, basically with this opened up, we just hit sync to library. And it's going to ask us if we want to add them all or do we just want to add one at a time. So we're going to go ahead and just add one here. And it's going to ask us if we'd like to create a new jam list from the selected loops. And if we do, we could actually create a, a, a name for that jam list from here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that off right now. Uh, and we can also preserve the loop locations where they're located at currently uh, and put them into the library. So right now we've got this particular loop selected. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. And that's going to add the loop Blues 3 into our library. If we go up into the library, we should be able to see that right here. Now once in the library, we can rate this loop on uh, how well we think it turned out. We can write a description for the loop if we want to. We can also Pick which uh, genre of loop that we would like it to, to be under. And you can also write meta tags uh, for your, the search engine on here uh, so that that way you can group your loops easier. Now that we've got loops into the library, we can go ahead and create a set list. We can either use one of the set lists we have here or we could actually go up to new and create a new jam list. So what I'm going to do is since I've already got some set lists done, I'm going to go ahead and hit set list number one. And this is our set list that I've got in here. Now, if I want to bring loops in from the library, I just double click library. And it's going to split the screen in half, giving us a, a way to drag the loops to the locations that we'd like. So let's say for this particular set loose, I just need one other loop. So I'm going to go ahead and take that blues three, and I'm going to drag it up here and put it in number uh, spot number two. And uh, once it's in here for number two, if we wanted to, we could actually now copy this down to the Jam Man. All we have to do is hit this button, select the Jam Man that's connected, and we can now either put it in our internal or external uh, memory on the Jam Man. Now another thing that we can do is we can also import audio. Uh, so if we have a loop that's on our, uh, on our computer right now, all I have to do to import that is go right up here to import audio as a loop and I can pick a WAV file that I have on my computer just double click it and it's gonna go ahead and bring that in so right now we've got the loop uh, located right here in the library uh, its name is rock5 we can uh, either change that name or we can actually use the random name generator which is uh, kinda wild you just click this button and it's just gonna put all sorts of uh, uh, different <laughs> names in here so we're going to go with uh, Satirically Single-Minded. Yeah, that's going to be the new name for that loop. And uh, again, we can change all the different fields here, anything that we would like. We can also, do, uh, we can also export uh, this audio. So let's say, for instance, that we've changed it inside the Jam Man. We could then go up and export this loop uh, onto our desktop or any other place that we have uh, that we'd like to save that loop to. Now, looking at being able to change a loop, we can basically uh, take this loop, we can do a number of different things to it. One thing that we can do is we can actually change the level. We can normalize it, which is going to normalize to zero point, uh, negative 0 0.3 dB. Or we can attenuate the loop by 3 dB or 6 dB. So basically, we can bring all the loop volumes up to the same level. Uh, or we can bring them down uh, if, if we just need it a little quieter than another loop that's uh, uh, that we currently have in here. We can also do something really cool. We can use the multiplier and we can take this loop and we can multiply it uh, however many uh, extra uh, bars that we need. So if we're looking at uh, a particular loop, uh, let's see here. Uh, say for instance the satirically single-minded loop. Uh, if we hit play on that, So there's one measure and two measures. So this loop is two measures long. So we could go up into the multiplier and we could make it another two measures long 
So now when we play that loop, we've got one measure there, two measures, and now it's playing our multiplied amount. There's three measures, and then four measures. So we're able to actually use that uh, multiplier button to change our loops and uh, make them longer, uh, longer in measures than what they already are. Now, as you'll notice, uh, I, I click the drop-down menu on this particular loop, and what this does is this brings up another set of fields for us to be able to manipulate. And we can uh, turn our rhythm section uh, on the Jamman Solo. We can turn that on or off. We can select one of the different sounds uh, that we have in there. So when we play this loop back on our Jamman, we'll hear those sounds. We could change the stop mode for those who have the Jamman Stereo or Jamman Delay. We could change the stop mode to either be stop finish or fade at the end of the loop and uh, we can change the native tempo of the loop the time signature and the repeat mode so we can make it either a single or a loop and on the jam man stereo and jam man delay you have the ability to use the reverse playback feature so these were the main features of the jam manager software this software is available free for download from digitech's website www.digitech.com